Hello and thank you for watching my video. My name is Astrid Krasnichi. I'm CCNA and CCMP Certified Instructor. Now we're covering some packet tracer activities for this chapter 5, adjust and troubleshoot single area OSPF. So if I go to my packet tracer folder, so first I'm going to demonstrate 51112 packet tracer to determine the DR and BDR instruction. Okay, that's our file loaded and I'm going to double click and load our packet tracer activity. Okay, here in our packet tracer, we, we are going to have that completion. We can check the uh, tasks that we need to do, check results, for example, assessment, not a lot. Anyway, um, close this, move the packet tracer to the right. Okay, move our packet tracer to the right here. Okay, so as we can see, we have three routers. No. We have three routers, router A, B, and uh, router C. Uh, if I just go to router A and see the configuration of router A, you see there is, there is already a configuration. Show IP OSPF neighbor. Yep, we have the neighbors. Okay, excellent. So let's read the objective. Part one, examine the DR and BDR change in roles. Modify the OSPF priority and force election. In this activity, we will examine the DR and BDR roles and watch the role change when there is a change in the uh, network. You will modify the priority to con um, uh, or we will modify the priority to control the role and force a new election. Finally, we will verify routers and fill in uh, the desired roles. Fulfilling. So examine the DR and BDR uh, change roles. Wait until, until Amber Link's light turn green. They have. When you first open the file packet tracer, you might notice that the link uh, lights for the switch are Amber. These link lights are stay Amber for 50 seconds while the switch makes sure that one of the router is not another switch. Alternatively, we can click here fast forward time to bypass this process. Verify the current OSPF neighbor states. Using the proper command on the each router, examine the current DR and BDR. So if I go to router A, for example, and I say, um, for example, router A, show, we did show IP OSPF neighbor. We do show IP interface brief. So the interface is G00, we get in the neighbors. So since this neighbor says BDR and this neighbor says a DR, that means we are DR other. But to find that out properly, we do show IP OSPF interface G00. And this says to us, what is our state? At the moment, our state is DR other. We got a connection with the designated router and backup designated router, we know who it is. So adjacent with a DR and with a BDR. So which router is a DR? The DR is 192.168.31.33. Right? So if I go uh, to router 3, most likely that's router 3. Yeah, 31.33. So here I say show IP OSPF interface G00 and the state says is DR. So router 3 is a DR. Router 3. Let me just change the font a little bit so maybe you can see it better. Apply. Okay. And then router B say enable show IP OSPF interface G00. And you see the state is BDR. So BDR is router 2. That was router 2. Or router B, actually. Router C and router B, not 3. Router B. And this is router C. Okay. Turn off IP OSPF adjacent debugging. You can modify the DR and BDR election process with the debug command. 
sorry, monitor DRBDR election with the debug command on RA and RB. Enter the following commands. So we go to RA debug IP OSPF ADJ. Right, there should be a gap here. So IP OSPF ADJ. And we type the same command on root B. Debug IP OSPF ADJ. Disable gigabit interface on uh, router C. So we have to go to router C. Disable the link between RC and, and switch to cause role change. So we have to go to router C and disable that link. So config T interface G00. Shut down. Okay. Wait about 30 seconds for the dead timers to expire on RA and RB. According to the debug output, which router was elected as DR and which was elected as BDR. So that's router C. We did disable router A and router B. Let's see what's happening. Okay, nothing showing. Show, show IP SPF neighbor. Okay, here, just when I was started doing. Uh, build the router LSA, uh, DR and BDR election on G00. Elect BDR 192.168.31.11. The DR 192.168.31.22. The DR, so the DR, the, the new DR is router B. Because it, the router B was BDR, backup designated router. Since the DR, which was router C, went down, we shut down, the BDR became the DR, and the DR other, which is router 1, became the BDR. So if I say show IP or SPF interface G00, now it says that the state is BDR. Okay. Wait for 30 seconds, expire according to the debug, which router is elected as a DR and which is a BDR. So DR is 192.168.31. So copy that and put it here. Ah, can't do that. Okay, I can't copy it. But router B is a DR, router A is, is a BDR. Restore the gigabit on router C. So I go to router C and do no shutdown. We enable the link on router C. Wait for the BDR and DR BDR election to occur. Did the DR and BDR role change? Why or why not? So even though router C has got the highest, well, they all have same priority, priority one. Router C has got the highest router ID, but because it's not preempt, so it's still gonna end up being the same routers they're gonna be the DR and BDR. Nothing is gonna change. So the router C, even though it's got better router ID, is not gonna become the DR. Disable the gigabit Ethernet on interface on router B. Okay, this is done now. So let's see what it says on router C. So we know that it's done because if you say show IP OSPF neighbor, we see two neighbors. And we see BDR, that's router 1, and DR, that's router 2. So if, if that's a DR and that's BDR, it's got to be only two. We are DR other. We can verify, show IP OSPF interface G00. We can see that we are DR other. Um, but if we disable this, then... Uh, okay, so if I go to uh, router B and disable the interface, so config T, interface G00, shut. Then router A will become the DR, and router C will become the BDR. So router A, uh, show IP OSPF interface brief, uh, IP interface. Right, we have to wait 30 seconds, yeah? Till the timer, show IP OSPF neighbor. Show IP OSPF neighbor see it until that timer then we can run this command 13 6 4 
one. Done. We lost the relation. Okay. So after we run, this is now the DR. Okay. So this is DR. Root to C is going to be the BDR, show IP OSPF interface. Is the BDR. And root to B now is nothing. Because show IP OSPF interface and nothing because interface is down. If I do the interface up, no shot. Okay, it's still waiting. State. Waiting. We haven't got anything yet. We exchange. Still waiting. We are gonna be the DR other. Right, once we get the neighbors, so show IP OSPF neighbor. Nothing yet. So also 50 seconds because the switch is all, uh, the whole thing is the switch is blocking, you see? Now. Yeah. So we see that we are the other. Restore the gigabit. Yeah, we've done that. Turn off the debugging. Modify the OSPF priority to force the election. So now, okay, let's undebug the you all. Router A and router B. It is router B, now router A, you all undebug. To change the DR and BDR, configure a gigabit Ethernet port on each router with the following interface priorities. So router A, the priority for router A. So we go config T. Interface G00, IP, OSPF, priority, it says here, 200, okay. Root of B, it will have the priority of 100, so 50, router, um, interface G00, IP, OSPF, priority, 100, and then router C as well, interface, uh, G00, IP, OSPF, priority, this is the default, yeah, so we didn't even need to do anything there. Now, router A, we want them to be the DR, router B, we want them to be the DR other, uh, BDR, sorry, and router C is the DR other. To force the election, we can either reload the switch, or we can say clear IP, OSPF process. So I can uh, reload the switch, shut down, and no shut down. Or the best method is to actually uh, do a clear IP OSPF process. I'll do that in Notepad because because it's going to be quicker. So clear IP OSPF process, and then it's going to ask me, Are "You sure?" No. Yes, I'm safe. Yes, I'm sure. So copy all that. I will go to router A and do end first there and paste it. There. I can't do it. I can't do it that way. Okay, fine. It's locked. So, go to root 3 and do clear uh, clear IP OSPF process. Yes, I'm sure. And I'll do to root B as well. Clear IP OSPF process. Yes, I want to clear it and do for root C as well. Clear IP OSPF process. Yes. Now, what do we want is router A to be the DR. So, show IP OSPF interface G00. And yes, is the DR. State is DR. We want router B to be our BDR. Show IP OSPF process, OS, sorry, interface, state BDR. The best way is to actually, um, okay, let's see what to see. Show IP OSPF interface, and this is DR. Let's say we expect it. This is to be the DR, router A, BDR, and DR other. You do this in the notepad, close, sorry, clear, IP OSPF process, it should be kept there and type yes and then one, once everything is done we will verify you'll find out that router A is the DR, router B is BDR and router C is DR other. 
check the results. So if I go there, it's 30 out of 30. Check the results. We've done everything. Yep. Okay. This is how to uh, force the DR, one of the routers, to become the DR by changing the priority. If the priority is the same, which it is, by default it's one, we check in the router ID. The highest router ID will win. The router, the way it gets the router ID is either by manually configure router hyphen ID and then give it an ID. If you haven't done that, highest loopback address. If there's no loopback address, then highest IP address. We will get the router ID. Thank you very much for watching and hopefully see you in the future videos. Bye bye.